Look at the mess we guys created here. Look at all of this. This is like three days of testing. I want to explain to you guys why we do what we do here at Roofing Insights and why it matters to us so much. In this video, I want to answer publicly to GF Rap who replied um, online why GF would not participate. So I want to take a couple minutes to explain first two tasks that we've done. Uh, first two out of 10 or 11, we're still considering to do one more test, uh, but we just finished with the nailings on you guys have seen uh, GF versus OC versus ICA. We did not perform the test. We have invited GF to participate in this review and this comparison. GF pretty much came forward and say, well, we don't feel like we need to participate. We don't really care what Roofing Insights uh, does. It's all irrelevant to us. Our products have been tested many, many times. So here's what we do, guys. We measure everything we can measure with initial quality. Why we do it? Because in this industry, every single manufacturer, except if I'm correct, uh, Malarkey. Malarkey doesn't have class action losses. Everybody else has, and some of them have a lot of them. I've seen in years owning a roofing business, I've seen so many products fail, but I've never seen anybody calling them out in the beginning. So roofing products perform very different within the first couple of years of install. So yes, when they make products, uh, it will pass test, class four test, uh, pull test, seal test, but I've seen it with my own eyes where products fail after four, five years. And uh, I've never seen recalls after products are sold, they're sold. I've been in a lot of plants and at the plant before they get shipped, there's actually a lot of it goes to the garbage because it didn't meet uh, criteria of that day of that standard that they have. But once it's sold, once it's shipped, it's done, it's getting installed. And a lot of products do fail and you know, manufacturers have, all have complaints. Uh, roofers, you guys know sealant problem when uh, I have a couple guys right now who wants to come to Roofing Insights be interviewed because one of the biggest brands would not offer under their warranty. So you install the product, you issue 50 year warranty, 10 year warranty from your company and all of a sudden two years later, one year later, six months later, you have major blow offs. Shingles have six, uh, I'm sorry, 130 mile wind warranty. You know, with a 20 mile wind warranty, shingles in the ground, manufacturer comes out and say, it's not our problem. Well, it's not your problem, it's not my problem. Whose problem it is? I have, a, I have a job where we have six shingles on the ground within six months, shingles would not seal for two years. Very common product, problem with one of the biggest brands, but nobody's talking about it. And manufacturer came out, took a shingle, ship it to their plant and did not honor the warranty. What do you do? Well, you send your installer and you fix it. Well, it's not easy fix to put back six shingles, but also because they were, you know, all over the roof, it's doable, but you should not be doing it. You, you got paid, you moved on. It's manufacturer defect. They are the one who should be uh, backing up those warranties. So this is why we do what we do. A couple of years ago, I think like 15, 20 years ago by now, certain teeth have billion dollar problem. They have the organic shingles. Again, at the time they were producing them and selling them, nobody was concern it was passing all the tests nobody were talking about initial um, problems but then five six seven years later problem started rising shingles start curling and we all have billion dollar problem a lot of homeowners got screwed and i've seen so many homeowners not only by certain teeth but some other brands who have to replace roof you know six seven eight years down the road not because of hail or weather event but because of problem with the uh, with the shingle so i i feel personally that problem with the uh, product is way bigger than ev everybody wants to admit uh, it's it's not one percent or half percent what manufacturers want you to believe it's way more because i see how many products actually do fail so this is why we, we do what we do um, we measure um, initial quality we read reviews and complaints from you guys, from the contractors. We read complaints from the homeowners. We investigate warranties and class action uh, lawsuits and all the failures that's happening right now. 
and we pretty much want to report back to you who makes the best shingle and i think it's going to be one of the best reports you can get so gf if you don't want to participate that's fine we exclude you we're not going to force your arm in the last video guys if you've seen that i test we did not do that ica versus uh, oc we did not test them it was oc booth we simply just was working by we were a media company at an expo and we actually asked oc to compare it versus icon gf just got in the shot so they actually would would be all the way in the bottom but it's irrelevant we're not testing them we're not comparing them if you've seen that video it was not our test we just media company captured somebody else's test but here's the results today so we did many many times uh we did it at expo last week and uh, the winner is OC and ICO, they go hand in hand. So we've seen it many times here at our studio, OC actually beat ICO by one. Like we just did it again, 71 versus 72. And what we were doing, we actually was doing uh, one foot section with the two nails on each side. And another thing what we was doing is we were using both common bump area and regular nail zone. And if it's too close or tight, we would just go by nail zone because that's where roofers mostly gonna uh, install anyway. And that's where manufacturers want them to install. But after all the tests, and we've done it many, many times, if, if we have tight or close or we didn't trust our eyes, we would do it again and again until we have a consistent number. So the winner is OC. And Ico, we give them tie. Uh, they're both gonna share first place in this test. Uh, again, because we've seen that IRE, Ico beats OC. And I mean, the products are so close. We can't really say, it's like arm wrestling match. I go, guys told you uh, many times. W in one test, in one batch, uh, Ico might win, another batch, OC might win. So as far as pool test goes, they're almost identical. Now, uh, second, uh, first and second is Ico Dynasty and OC Duration. Third place goes to Pepco. Pepco really surprised me. This little guy right here. It's the first time uh, we actually test uh, this product. Uh, thank you, Pepco, for... Um, actually, no, it's not the first time. We did them three years ago. Uh, but thank you, Pepco, for shipping uh, this product. Uh, first couple tests could be impressive. So you, you're getting third place. In the fourth place, we have Atlas. Uh, they were pretty consistent with both common bond and uh, regular bond. Oh, sorry. They were consistent with the common bond and regular nailing zone. Then we have uh, Certain Teeth. Certain Teeth has really wide nailing zone. The problem with Certain Teeth is the common bond is very, very small and it's all gonna be in the final video. This is just a little teaser how we do our reviews but their uh, nailing zone and common bond is very small and it only requires on a super pitched roof. So if you do to, uh, like 412, that's where you're gonna install. You can see the difference here. You have 32 versus 72, but because how small it is, most likely, and it's not required, most likely the roofer is just gonna go with the regular area. So they're getting uh, uh, fifth place in this test, Malarca sixth place and seventh place BP, and uh, last plate is Tamco. Tamco, uh, one of the worst nailing zones I've seen. Let me find you, let me just show you the last plate. So it's very, very thin, it's hard to understand. Um, it's actually, I mean, super easy to tear, like right in that, um, I mean, I, I would say a lot of blow-offs probably gonna be happening there. So it's, it's very, very, questionable, if you will, nailing zone. And we've done it um, when we did Temco in a common bond, if you can find it, because you barely can see uh, where to nail. I mean, the line is there, but like I said, you're not gonna see it. And that's been a problem with Temco for years. So it is a um, higher number for uh, common bond area, but <laughs> if you don't see it and you're not gonna see it, you're probably gonna nail higher. Uh, in the regular nail and zone area and you're only gonna get 26 there. So they're taking last place here. So um, it's too early to judge who's gonna win. It's like Olympic games, like CrossFit games. It's a game, so we're gonna have 10 different competitions. We will review warranties uh, with the lawyers actually. Uh, we're gonna 
make separate videos, separate comparison in just nailing zones. You can see here, we even consider how many pieces in the bundle, what's the coverage gonna be. I mean, all of it, guys. We're gonna uh, look at the consumer reports, the BBB complaints. We're gonna look at the uh, uh, reviews and you know even service from like Contractor Magazine and some other service. Service that we've done at Roofing Insights um, not going to be considered because we don't want to be biased, but we'll take industry service. We're going to uh, include them in this review. So comment below, guys, what you think about what we do. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Uh, we want to make uh, manufacturers accountable for their product. We want them to recall their products when they are failing and you can visually see the damage. And uh, we also want to protect uh, you, homeowner and contractor, because nobody should get system disease letter just for talking about products. You know, if you have a product, you should not be afraid to go on YouTube or Facebook and say, hey, I have a product that's failing right now on my job. I have a problem installing it. Uh, I mean, you should not be getting system disease. And it's a freedom of speech that I believe in. Uh, that's what's great about this country. And if we're all unite and start talking about real issues we i believe we're gonna be getting better product and manufacturers will improve as well let me know what you guys think in the comments below what you think about the results here and i'll see you in the next video in about two weeks you're gonna see our full report and gf if you want to participate you are still invited you can come here with your reps we're very friendly very open we just want to compare and 95% of our audience, thousands of thousands of roofers found, um, we found out that they they think that our tests are relevant to roofers, to the industry. So if you don't wanna participate, we can't make you, but you are still invited. See you guys soon.